Hi, and welcome to tip number 48. So far across the most recent tips we've covered, some of the four M's, man, machine, method, this one, and the next one are about material. Particularly, it's about inventory storage areas, this one. Now I've mentioned before that a factory is like a body, and the body needs blood to flow around it. The lungs and the kidneys might be manufacturing and assembly, but the blood is the materials, the inventory, whip and finished goods that flows through the factory. And our, our job is to keep it flowing well at the right rate. Inventory and the lead time that's reflected by your inventory is really the judge of how good you are. That's the fundamental judge. So to make sure you have the buffer stocks in the right place, you need to look after them, formalize them, look after them. I'm about to show you a series of pictures that show you the key ingredients for looking after your inventory areas. It takes a certain amount of discipline. So firstly, they should be identified and fixed in a location. Then they should be owned and they should be owned by the supplying area, not the area that's pulling from them. There should be a part number on each rack location and each box that goes in the rack. And don't forget, it's not just about the inventory of parts, it's also about tools and jigs. Fundamentally, if you're gonna flow well, if you're gonna pull through your value stream, then you need to make sure you look after your inventory areas very well. If you're enjoying these tips, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.